God bless you today. I pray that you're having a good day. I feel very, very positive about what I want to share with you today regarding a, a one thing that is just broken the news uh, and also a news article that is about one year old that many people seem to forget about because we seem to focus so much on what's happening today, what just breaks this moment, that we forget the significance, the importance spiritually about findings that are maybe one year old so in jesus name father we thank you for this day <clears throat> we lift up our oil before you we ask you to bless us and we know father that you are with us that you love us you protect us you lead us you guide us and there is no coincidence nothing is coincidence father everything is a divine appointment and assignment by you father god in the name of jesus we thank you for this day now help us father help us father to accomplish everything you have for us this day in jesus name okay a guy says he stole are you ready for this this is by the new york post today february 8 i could not believe i read this it's like now that okay the lord is bringing back through donald trump's uh administration the importance of God in our nation. Again, thank you, Jesus, is all I can say. So many, many milestones. This window of time is what the Lord gave me the other day, that we are be being given a window. And it's a small window because the next agenda I totally see is the Lord, <coughs> excuse me, taking his bride. And so this to me is very interesting because as God is allowing his name to be lifted up just for this window, this short window, a guy says he stole seven billion because Jesus told him to. <laughs> I cannot. This is unbelievable. <clears throat> and there's a big picture. I'm going to leave a link. There's a big picture of this guy. In fact, I will try to show this picture if I can I'm looking at his eyes his eye on his right you can just see the demon right in there the and it's out there it's a very positive demon it's in your face you know you look at people and you can see what's in them it's not difficult to see what's inside of a person because the eyes are the mirror to the soul and then on his left eye, and they're even in different placements, you know, when you look at somebody, you know, is the, are the eyes exactly, you know, horizontally level or is one eye like out there and the other eye is very subtle. And that is the one actually, in my opinion, it's the subtle eye that's the more powerful demon than the one that's just in your face. Uh, they're both demons. Both of the, I believe this man has multiple demons, uh, very several, several. So anyhow, I just, that's the very first thing that caught my attention is, you know, a picture is worth a thousand words. I looked at this guy's picture and I said, uh-huh, <laughs> somebody else is at home in this, in this host, in this body. The accused uh, uh, fraudster really thinks He's holier than thou. Isn't this exactly what the devil wants to do? He wants to proclaim himself God. He wants the world to acknowledge him as God. He's so mad at God. The devil is so mad at God. He wants to take any opportunity he can and just spit in God's face and say, I am God. Well, you kicked me out of heaven. Now I'm going to set up my own heaven on earth and all of your creation, they're going to praise me and they're going to worship me. And I'm going to make myself God. That's exactly what we know that he's going to do when, uh, you know, down the road here that uh, hopefully we are not going to be here to see that, you know, when he sets himself up as king of kings and lord of lords, he thinks in, in Jerusalem, that's not going to last long this accused fraudster really thinks he's holier than thou than thou amazing 
you know, it just reminds me of when the devil was up in the cave and he was just after Jesus, after Jesus, because he, he, he's just so angry because he knows he has lost. So <clears throat> that in itself should be an encouragement to you this day. The fact that the battle was already won for you. You don't have to uh, wonder about, are you going to be successful in this world, accomplishing everything God wants you to accomplish because God is with you. The battle was already won 2,000 years ago. So you are the winner. <laughs> you are the winner. Okay, John Haskew, H-A-S-K-E-W, claimed, he pocketed, claimed. This is another wonderful word. I just look at these little words, you know, and these little words speak volumes. Claimed, like the devil, he claims he is the king of kings. We know he's not, but the devil is claiming these things. Many, many things he's claiming. Okay, John claimed, Michael, excuse me, Michael claimed he pocketed seven billion. Oh, why not? <laughs> you know, why not? Let's just go on up there. Seven billion in a bank fraud scheme. Because Jesus Christ chose him to be rich, according to the published reports, rich. You know, Many people on the earth, they preaching this prosperity gospel that you're not successful unless you are financially a billionaire, a seven billionaire. <laughs> but so what does the enemy do? He wants to come. You know, what I really see in this is <laughs> Number one, this guy, of course, we know is demon spirited. He's demon filled and the devil is mad at, at the God. But the devil is using this man to speak publicly uh, to the sheep of the true sheep, the true body of Christ to try to get you to feel bad if you're not a seven billionaire, if you're not rich financially rich like the the devil wants to get our eyes off of what the real definition of wealthy is rich is we are to be rich with the fullness of god with the power of his might with the gentleness with the long suffering it's not about how much money we have in the bank. It's about how many souls have we won to Christ. You see, the devil wants to just totally flip everything upside down. And we must remember the way the picture is supposed to be. It's supposed to be right side up, not upside down. That's why any, uh, <clears throat> of these people. I even have seen uh, people on, on many different outlets. They've said, well, you've got to flip everything upside down. I just don't get that. That just is very difficult for me because it's like, okay, well, is the Bible upside down when we read it? Shall we just flip up the Bible, <laughs> flip it upside down and read it? Uh, okay. His God, awful his God awful excuse got an eye roll from Lakeland, Florida authorities who arrested him on December 16, Channel uh, 9 News reported. So this man <clears throat> was in Florida, number one. He's in a party state. He's in a state where uh, the devil knows People want to live that lifestyle, you know, in these wealthy homes. Who knows what this guy really did achieve, how much he really did uh, scheme, possibly. We have no idea, but a picture is worth a thousand words. And all I see in this picture is demons. And that's the way we, know. we just look at people's, you know, their eyes. Okay, I want to move uh, to an article that I wanted to bring to your attention. 
to bless us. <laughs> now that we've talked about the devil, I want to, uh, you know, really all I see in this article, the reason I read this article about this guy is because <clears throat> the enemy is coming up against us as a body, personally, individually, and as a body together because God has given us this window. So this is why, like I say, it's going to be like this. The battle is, you know, was over 2000 years ago, but we are still in, in <clears throat> the wrestling, but we wrestle not against these uh, people down here on the earth. We are praying and believing God has our backside on our front side and all of that. Okay, archaeo uh, archaeologist at Jesus tomb site. <laughs> what was found is astonishing. The reason this article, this was from October 27, 2016, not too long ago. But the reason that this caught my attention is because it was by CBS News. CBS. Now that is interesting because in my opinion i don't look for anything really religious to come out of cbs you know acknowledging god <laughs> but this was very interesting when you see uh, even the secular media lifting up and finding that uh, jesus and finding out that what was found is astonishing you know that to me is amazing that we see things like this beginning to happen and you know the lord was showing me the other day that uh, a lot of a-list people in this one category of celebrities that they are having a lot of issues right now and that they in their heart of hearts are realizing you know what things are starting to get scary in this world and I think I better just rethink this whole thing and many of them are baby boomer a-list celebrities and they're finding oh my goodness look at so-and-so just died so-and-so just died all my people around me are dying maybe I might die and so they're beginning to see that they're not going to live forever their career span of their prime time of their career is over now what now what are they going to do with their life so they're rethinking this whole thing and they're seeing the wave of the majority of the people in fact uh, regis Philman, i just caught a video made a public statement that donald trump was doing a fantastic job <laughs> so that right there was a, a little confirmation you know right up in front of your face there it is the day after the lord showed me that boom there's regis in the news saying that so that was encouraging and uh wonderful 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 to see jerusalem i'm going to read a little bit of this in the innermost chamber of the site said to be the tomb of jesus the restoration team has peeled away a marble layer for the first time in centuries in an effort to reach what it believes is the original rock surface where the where Jesus's body was laid the original rock surface you know i uh, i think of a book you know we read books and there's the beginning there's the cover and we read the cover and is the cover going to intrigue us to want to buy the book are we going to want to buy the book because a title is very very important so we all walk through the stores and we look at titles or we're on amazon or wherever and we're looking at titles of music of books whatever and the title either grabs you or it doesn't grab you but i'm telling you one thing when they see that the original rock surface is right there in this place where they are pulling away a marble layer for the first time in centuries, centuries, centuries. <laughs> Many historians have long believed that the original cave identified a few centuries after Jesus' death as his tomb was obliterated ages ago. But... I love that word, but <laughs> that just cancels out everything before, you know, but an archaeologist accompanying the restoration team said ground penetrating radar tests 
determined that cave walls are in fact standing at a height of six feet and connected to bedrock behind the marbled panels of the chamber at the center of Jerusalem's Church of the Holy Sepulchre. What was found said, I love this, said National Geographic archaeologist Frederick Hybert is astonishing. Thank you, Jesus, that they are finally acknowledging. And to think about this, that it is the original rock surface. You know, it, it's so wonderful to think that, that Jesus' body was laid on rock, <clears throat> proving to the world he is the rock. <laughs> he is the rock. Okay. The work is part of a historic renovation project to reinforce and preserve the uh, E-D-I-C-U-L-E, forgive me, the chamber housing, the cave where Jesus, Jesus is said to have been entombed and resurrected. It is the centerpiece of one of one of Christianity's oldest churches and one of its most important shrines. I usually spend my time in Tut's tomb, said uh, Hybert, about the Egyptian pharaoh uh, uh, burial site, a specific one here. But this is more important. Even the world is seeing the importance. They're seeing the importance of the tomb of Jesus. They're seeing how the whole calendar revolved around the birth, the death of Jesus. They're seeing that Jesus, even that he was in Jerusalem, and they are now making this the capital. Very soon they will make this the capital, we all know this, of the world. And the devil is going to rise his ugly head up when this happens. You can surely know that because they've all said it. They've all said this is going to cause an explosive response. <laughs> yeah, I'll bet it will. Well, the devil's going to have his explosives, but guess what? As who has, guess who's going to have the biggest fireworks more than the devil? <laughs> we know that one. Okay, I want to read on down here. I want to read on down just for uh, the bottom of this article was wonderful. Um, he says, what happened here 2000 years ago completely changed the history of the world. It's so wonderful to see the world acknowledging <clears throat> how Jesus changed the history of the world because he wrote the history. That's why he can do anything he wants with the history. He knows exactly when he wants to show up and show off and let the whole world know I am the king. No man cometh to the Father except by me. I am the truth. I am the life. I am the way. He is the way, the way, the only way. Okay. What happened here, I could just go off, you know me, I love this. What happened here 2,000 years ago completely changed the history of the world, he said. To be able to dig, let's say, to the rock where the body of Jesus was laid, it's overwhelming joy. He's walking in the fruits of the Spirit and he might not even know it. Love, joy, peace, long-suffering. At one point, a National Geographic film crew documented the site as clergy burned incense around them in a daily church rite. After the film, imagine this. Can, did you hear what I just said? A film crew documented the site as clergy, clergy, clergy burned incense around them <clears throat> in a daily church rite because they know it's holy. They know this is a holy place. There's no question in their mind. And so 
it, it, you know, it, it reminds me of that song. We, uh, the sacrif we offer up the sacrifice of praise unto the house of the Lord. I'm probably not singing that exactly right. Um, at one point, they uh, did this. After the film crew cleared out, a pair of clergymen in brown frocks, F-R-O-C-K-S, and an Israeli policeman stationed at the church to help keep the peace clamored over a pile of work tools, electrical wires, and a yellow ha hard hat on the floor, uh, which was on the floor, to uh, lean into the inner chamber and snap cell phones photos of the exposed tomb. It's a, it's a historic moment, huh? The policeman said. It's a historic moment. Wait till Jesus comes through the sky. That will be the biggest historic moment. <laughs> they haven't seen nothing yet is all I got to say. You ain't seen nothing till he parts the sky. And that will be the biggest historic moment when Jesus returns. Thank you, Jesus, for your presence. Lord, we just thank you for your presence. There's so many prayer requests that have come in, Father, and we lift up all of these, Father, because I don't want to stop to read each specific one because you know them all. We will have a time for that. But this is the time right now to acknowledge you. Thank you for this day. We humble ourselves. We thank you for your great love for us. We thank you that the world is acknowledging you are the rock. You are the historic moment, moments, and what is to yet come, what is yet to come. We thank you, Father, for your great love. In Jesus' name. Now heal our bodies so that we can be a blessing, Father. I, I just know that you're doing it now, Lord. You're healing. You're healing. You're healing. Because you told me you would. And I believe you. And people have written in and said they were healed. And I know that I know that I know. It's all you, Lord. You receive all the glory as we move into this final window of time that you have given us to proclaim you are the rock you are the way there is no greater power there is no greater god and we will have no gods before you father god we only acknowledge you in the name of jesus now bless everyone that's <clears throat> given to this ministry father let it return a thousandfold Thank you, Father God, for the faithful ones. Thank you, Father God, for the one-time givers. Thank you, Father God, for those that are praying for this ministry. Thank you for the equipment, Father God, that we can now make this live and expand it even greater. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You are so awesome. You are so great. Our God is a mighty God. He reigns from heaven above with wisdom power and love our god is an awesome god i love you have a blessed day in the lord faster than the speed of light his presence is here tonight Able to make demons flee And open the blind eyes to see Look up in the sky It's a bird It's a plane No it's Jesus Christ. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God. 
faster than a second in a twinkling of an eye. Who's that coming out of the sky? He's coming. And the beginning, he was in the And all things were made through him. And without him, nothing was made that was made. Faster than a second in a twinkling of an eye. Who's that coming out of the sky? He's coming. The king is coming. And in him was the life. And the life was the light of man. And the light shined in darkness. And the darkness comprehended it not. Among us, and we beheld his glory, and it's the glory of the only Faster begotten Son. Who's that coming out of the sky? I saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from heaven, the tabernacle of God. And the angels were singing, Hallelujah! Glory to the King, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, Jesus Christ.